So Dennis Rodman is accusing Travis Scott of ripping off his shoe design. Hey, what's up? I'm A-Dub, and check this out. During a recent sneaker convention, the five-time NBA champion claimed Travis Scott used the same logo flip on his Air Jordan collaborations that the sportswear brand had on the Nike Air Darwin. Travis Scott has copied my shoe. I was the first guy to do mine as a back horse. I was playing with Chicago Bulls. Come on, Travis. Give me some credit, you know. That's right. You copied my Travis shit. Travis beat Dennis' design. Right? So anyway, so this ain't new. This ain't new, brother. Are you okay? Either way, wow. congratulations. Modern day sneaker enthusiasts lost their minds when LaFlame and Jordan brand teased the Travis Scott Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG in 2019. The sneaker came in a mocha colorway with an accompanying backward Nike swoosh and had many people believe that Travis and Nike were doing something innovative. However, the backward swoosh design was first used in 1994 on the Nike Air Darwin that Dennis Rodman wore throughout his time with the San Antonio Spurs. Rodman laced up the kicks in the latter half of his first season and the beginning stages of his second with the Spurs. The shoe didn't officially bear his name or likeness, but many still considered it to be a signature sneaker. Nike has placed the backwards swoosh on 10 different sneakers from the Travis Scott collection, including the Air Jordan 1, the Air Max 1, the Air Max 270, and more. Six months after the Astro World Fest tragedy, Travis Scott and Nike resumed working on their collaborative efforts after putting a pause on things, dropping the Air Trainer 1, which drew over 1 million raffle entries in just 30 minutes. Scott put his own spin on the Nike staple, which arrived in two different colorways with the gray haze option alongside chocolate. Obviously, Nike didn't manufacture enough pairs to meet the demand, so a lot of fans were left empty-handed in getting a pair. However, those willing to hunt for the kicks can try their hand in the resale market on StockX. Prices range from as low as $145 to $500. But let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell to stay up to date on all of our new videos. And as always, make sure to keep it all the way locked to popdx.com.